Okay, right, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to uh, actually build for the Oculus in UDK. Now, it's actually no different to um, building normally, it's exactly the same. Uh, all you've got to do, and I mean, this, you're going to be amazed at how simple this is, is change an entry in the configs. Uh, which is let's just, uh, let's just do search find um, engine oh. engine dot studio here we go right okay so in the config file uh, UDK config file. Um, there's an entry here, engine stereo 3D. This defaults, be enabled defaults to false. Yeah, so just go in, change that to true. And that is it, that is literally it. You can then start building your level exactly as normal, no different to how you normally build your level. Um, and then when you hit play, it doesn't, I don't think it's supported in Editor yet, but it when you hit play in PC, you'll see it's all ready to go. You haven't had to do anything. I'm amazed it's that easy. I thought I was going to have to do something a lot more complicated. Oh, hold on. Actually, I can't find the keys. Hold on. <laughs> right, there we go. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Right. I think there is some tweaks needed. You can actually tweak um, some. See, look, there, there are some issues I think it's something to do with the camera rig. I've got a funny feeling that the camera rig that actually looks fantastic. A minute ago it was glitching a little bit. I've got a funny feeling the camera rig uh, may need some changes because effectively what you've got now is, is two cameras on your rig and it just seems to be glitching a little bit in places. Um, the one thing that the one thing that I might need to change, it might be in that stereo 3D, I didn't actually have a look, is the actual player doll or the player character uh, isn't appearing. So maybe it's as simple as there being a, a variable in there that needs to be set to true as well. Um, but there you go, it's all absolutely fantastic, ready to go. I mean, five minutes and you're on the Oculus.